Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today, thanks a bunch for stopping by. I certainly do appreciate it. Guys, today's beer comes from Blue Mountain Brewery. These guys are a couple hours up the road. I have been to the brewery, not in a long time, but uh, we went up there five, six, seven years ago. And they have a very nice facility. They were growing, starting to grow their own hops and everything. And, uh, and I've reviewed a couple of their beers, but it's been quite a while. Uh, I got a bad one from them. It had a very diacetyl taste to it, and uh, I haven't spent my money on uh, their stuff since then. Uh, this particular can, uh, a friend of mine, Mr. Wiley, brought over some uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. Of course, I'm a couple of days ahead, so uh, he brought this over, and uh, uh, we sipped, I sipped on one, and he, he and him, and the other half had one, and uh, uh, he left one for me to review, and uh, and that's what we're going to do here, guys. Uh, the biggest bus, and uh, I hate to bring this up, but they don't put. They have a machine to to stamp uh, the can on date, and they choose to write Best Buy 11:30:20 instead of putting the can on date. Now, if they want to put the can on date and then put the Best Buy date after that, they could do that. So that lets them sell this beer for a longer period of time. So I don't know if they're giving it a three month, four month, six month, eight month. I don't know what shelf life they're giving the beer. I want to know when it was put in the can, not when you want me to have it by. I'll make that decision. So that's one of the big pluses. And the last time I was at the brewery, we, in, we were actually going to have lunch there. And they wanted like $10 for a hot dog. And I'm going, that ain't going to happen. So uh, it was a nice facility. And I don't know if anything's changed because I hadn't been back there since. So. Uh, but anyway, the biggest bus why I don't buy their beer, it has a Best Buy date on it. And I'm not a fan of that. Y'all know that. So, this is a 7% alcohol by volume beer. Uh, and having the name, uh, a Hopwork Orange, uh, playing off the, the movie Clockwork Orange, I guess. Uh, 65 IBUs on this. Uh, it says here on Untapped. An IPA that blends a flavor and aroma of orange peel with a burst of Pacific Northwest hops. So, uh, not a big beer. 7% it is in my go-to range, but uh, we shall see what this brings to the table. Uh, the pictures here, it looks, it doesn't look like a New England style, but it does have, looking at the pictures, it looks like it has a hazy, cloudy look. Not super cloudy, so uh, we've got everything, so let's get it open and get it into the glass. Thanks again to Mr. Wiley for dropping it off. We're going to stand it up here, guys. And I'm going to do the little swirly swirl just in case there's any settling going on because I don't know how long it's been in the can, guys. I don't know what shop like these guys are giving their beers. So, a hop work orange. It's got a farm tractor. And with an orange driving it, and he's pulling a load of hops and hop vines growing in beside the tractor there. So very colorful artwork on the can. Uh, with that swirly swirl, we got about a finger and a half of head. Uh, it is a deeper amber color. Uh, I can see light through the thin part. It's almost to a copper color up here in the upper part of the glass. But I can't see some light down through the thin part down here. It is a good looking beer. So let's get it to the nose and see what we got. Nice and citrusy. I am getting some orange rind or oranges in there. Maybe a slight hint of some pine or grapefruit. Got a decent aroma to it. I will say that. So let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Mr. Wiley.
A little bit of a bitterness. 65 by years, it tastes more like 75 or maybe even 80. Got a little bit of a twang of a hot bitterness to it. Not super smooth, but it's a decent beer. Decent tasting beer. Not sure it'd be something that I would pick up for myself. Um, I personally think Sierra Nevada's Torpedoes more hoppier than this. And, and it's got a date on it. Got bottled on date. Just not a fan of these Best Buy dates or used by or whatever by. Uh, I want to know when it was put in this can. So uh, that's my biggest fuss. Uh, that's a decent beer. It's an okay beer. Uh, like I said, I'm not sure it'd be something that I would pick up with that dating system on there. But it's right out of the fridge. We're going to sip on it and come back and do what we do. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on for a little while. Uh, nice lesson gets left on the glass. It's it's okay. It's a decent beer, guys. Uh, Blue Mountain Brewery is a hop work orange. Uh, the biggest plus I got is the Best Buy date, guys. Uh, it's a 7 percenter. The alcohol seems to be well hidden. It has, uh, it says 65 IBUs, but it tastes a little stronger than that to me. But uh, it's me, though, probably. Uh, now that they are canning uh, their stuff, and like I said, I haven't been to the brewery in a long time, so I don't know if the same brewer is doing it that was doing it when they first opened or what's going on there. But I was turned off by how expensive the food was and uh, after reviewing some of their beers I got a bad one uh, so uh, I just haven't spent my money on it since then uh, there are some breweries in Virginia especially up uh, Vail Brewing in Richmond and stuff uh, they don't distribute just far into the Roanoke area uh, yet hopefully that will happen and I don't want to drive six hours three hours up and three hours back just to get a decent beer this is a lot like the breweries in this vicinity that brew these transitional average beers. Decent, but nothing world class. This is definitely not an A beer to me, but that's just my opinion. I'm a chug. Like I said, my go to beers are, are more hoppy than this. The the voodoo is not in the same category because it's an imperial voodoo, it's a nine percenter. But the high lie and the torpedo are more tasty to me than, than this is. And that's why I buy those beers, guys. I mean, I'd like to support some local guys, but they're not producing anything that's impressing me, guys. Uh, a lot of transitional stuff. So, it's what it is. Uh, over to Beer Advocate. Well, I'm going to tell you before I go there. Uh, this is a B beer to me, guys. It might get just a slightly better grade. It might get to the B plus range if it had a canned on date, but it does not. So it gets to be 85 for me. Over to Beer Advocate, they say 87. Over to Untap, they have it at 3.63, which is also B B range. So I kind of agree with uh, Untapped on this. It's it's a B beer. It's a decent beer. It's a good transition. Excuse me, good transitional beer if you want to get into uh, maybe an IPA. Uh, but I think it might be a little heavier on the IBUs if you're trying to get into an IPA. It might be a little too bitter for you. So, and there are IPAs that have a lot lower IBUs that are a lot sweeter and easier to drink than this. So, it's what it is again. So, if you've had a clock, a hop, I was going to say clockwork, a hopwork orange from Blue Mountain Brewery, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.